Hey, what's up? This is Matt with Atlantis Pool and Spa, and I thought I would just show you a new tool that I picked up off of Amazon for $11.99 or something like that. And this is the TDS meter called Measure Up from eTexity. eTexity, I guess, is the name of it. And uh, basically, the problem that I was having is I started getting foaming issues in my hot tub. And, uh, you know, being a professional pool guy, I know that, you know, you're not supposed to have uh, any sort of drinks or anything like that that could spill into the hot tub and create foaming. I know that you're not supposed to have cheap chemicals that you get at Walmart because that causes foaming. I know that you're supposed to shower before you go in the hot tub. I know that your uh, calcium levels need to be exactly right, otherwise you'll get foaming. So I know all of these things and yet after a while I still got them. So I figured that the problem was TDSs. TDSs are total dissolved solids. It's basically everything that can't be filtered out by the filter or that can't be oxid out, oxidized out by the, uh, by the shock. So I picked myself up a TDS meter and, uh, and here it is. This TDS meter uh, works fantastic. I've used it on several of my hot tubs now. It comes with this nice leather case, which I'm not actually sure if this is real leather or not, but I don't really care about that for, you know, 12 bucks. What do you want? But uh, I'm going to show you how this works. So let's uh, open this up and, and I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, after removing the cap on it right there on the right side, what you see here is you see the meter and it has your on off button and then it has a hold button on there. So basically the first thing you do is you just power it up and you just stick the end here into your body of water. And right now it's reading 244. So I know for a fact that this is not 244 because right underneath it, it says times 10. So what we have here is 244. It's actually going down a little bit. 244 times 10. So basically I'm over 2000 parts per million of TDSs. What you want to do with TDSs in your hot tub is when you fill it, anytime it goes 1500 above the fill level of TDSs, that's when you want to drain it. So tap water is about 200. And now that this is 244, I know that it's definitely time to drain. So basically you want to drain at 2000 uh, parts per million of TDS. So this gives me pretty much an instant read. Looks like it's leveling out around 200 here. So I'm looking at about 2000, 2400 to give an exact reading of that. But uh, this is very helpful and it's really good for me in the spa industry because I take care of a lot of hot tubs. And when I have foaming issues in those hot tubs, I could just put this in and I could find out exactly if TDSs are causing it. And then I could turn around and train, translate that into a drain, clean, and refill repair for my business. So pick one of these up at uh, Amazon.com. Again, it's the TDS meter by eTexity. And there's several of them out there. You don't have to get this particular one, but this will do everything that you need. And it's only $12 and it's well worth it. And this tells me uh, definitively that I need to drain the hot tub and refill it and do a fresh start on it. So anyway, this is my TDS meter. I hope that you found this to be enlightening, inspiring, or educational. And uh, thank you so much for watching. God bless and happy hot tubbing.